Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to set up a batch payment for paying supplies in one go. So instead of going through and paying all your supplies individually, going into the bank, setting up bank details, transferring over invoice numbers into the reference fields and the dollar amounts for the amounts you're paying and having a chance of making errors there because you're doing it all manually, I'm gonna show you how you can automate it from zero through to the bank and also how you can save yourself time in the process. So first off, we're going to go to bills to pay. And we're going to go to awaiting payment. Now, what you can do also is you can go in to a particular bill and you can mark it as paid down the bottom here. And then when you go to do the bank rec, it'll flow through to the bank rec and you'll pick it up there. Or you can just pay this bill through your bank and then when it comes through to the bank rec, match it up to this invoice at that point. But Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a bulk payment. So let's say we've got all these invoices that need to be paid and we can look at the due dates here. We might do a search on due dates. And we've got it here in ascending order. So we are going to pay everything that is due up until the end of September. So that means all of this stuff. And then we're going to go batch payment. So we've got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven invoices here. We're going to batch. And actually something I should show you quickly as well, if you're looking, that's one way you can do it, searching by date. Another way you can do it is to say, uh, in this particular example, we might have um, say $5,000 available to pay. And you can see up here, as you tick the boxes, it changes to how many items are selected and how much it all adds up to. So when we had everything selected up to the end of September, it went to 5198. Let's just say we only had $5,000 available. So we're gonna unselect this last one, bring it down to 4956 under the $5,000 cap, and we're just gonna batch pay these six invoices. So let's batch that. Pay six bills. So we select the bank account that we're going to pay from. So we're gonna pay from the business bank account, and we're going to create a batch payment and we're going to download our payment file. Now it brings us through to the next screen here where we've got paying from the business account. Payment method is paying a batch payment. The payment date, we're going to set this for, um, yeah, we'll say today, is the, say today is the 23rd of October. So we're gonna set it for today, 23rd of October. In the reference, I'll just type in batch and the date, 23rd of October. Now down here, you can see we've got the payee, the reference from the bill, the payee reference. So the reference from the bill would be the bill number that you've put in when you've um, entered the bill in the first instance. The payee reference, we're able to edit this field so we might change this because we've already got the, the bill number in the reference from the bill here. For the payee reference, we might put just the name of the supplier. You can do whatever you want down here as long as it's identifiable to them because they've got the invoice number and to you as well. And we've got the due dates, the bank accounts, number is missing in a couple of these because we haven't either paid them before through zero 
or we haven't set it up in the supplier contact details. So we need to insert the bank details here. So I'm just gonna make up some numbers. And you can see here, because I'm typing in one field, but we've got two of the same, two bills from the same supplier, it's actually entering it into both fields. All right, so we've got our bank details in here, and now we can see how much is due on the invoice, the unpaid amount, and the payment amount. So if we only wanted to pay 100 bucks, we could just change this to 100. And the total. So we're going to go continue to payment summary. Okay, so here we've come through to the next screen. We've got our payees, the payee reference. You might actually want to put the bill numbers in here so that when this flows through to the supplier, they can match it up to the bill numbers that you're paying, the bank account and the payment amount but we can also send them remittance at the end of it so they'll know. And we'll go finish and view batch. Now, so we've got our batch payment here that's been processed, unreconciled. We've got the payment date, the supplier names, the reference, the bill numbers. You can click here to go into the actual invoice as well. And you can see here, the details to appear on the contacts bank statement. This is what we had in the payee reference. So you should really have the, um, the bill number in here. Due date, payment, and the total amount, 4926. So that's our payment. Well, I'll show you how we can export the batch file. So instead of going into your bank and uh, doing individual payments or even setting up a multi-payment in your bank but manually inputting in this info and maybe making mistakes, sending it to the wrong bank account, putting in the wrong bill numbers, putting in the wrong dollar amounts. Instead of all that extra time as well, you can just go export batch file. And that generates an ABA. And what you can do with that ABA is you can go into your bank and you can select the option there to upload an ABA file, and that will bring all of this through automatically to your bank with the correct bank account details, so long as you had the correct bank account details input into zero, and all the dollar amounts, everything will be exactly as you see it here. So it'll save you a lot of time, it'll reduce the chance of human error by a great deal. Um, I also made a video about how to upload uh, an ABA file in that particular video, I believe it was in reference to an ABA, I mean, sorry, a payroll ABA file, but the principle is the same on how to load and up upload an ABA file. So I'll put a link up the top to that. So we've exported our ABA file, we've uploaded it to the bank, we've sent the money off. Now we want to want to send remittance. And we're going to send five remittance advice emails. You can see here that some of them are missing email addresses. So we're going to have to input the email addresses in here. And then we can select our branding theme, our email template, if we want to change a default wording of an email template. And of course, we can just edit the wording down here as well for this one email. And you can send that off. And that'll basically tell your supplier what invoice number from the reference field you've paid. So even though you may not have put the bill number in here, <coughs> excuse me, in here, which you probably should, as long as you send a remittance, they'll be able to marry it up to their payment anyway. So you've made the payments, you've created the batch file, uploaded the ABA, sent off remittance, now you're going to have to reconcile the account. So you've made this payment here on the 23rd of October. What's going to happen is, when you go in to do your bank rec, this has created a transaction on the books for this amount here, 4926, not for the individual amounts. So when you go through to the 
bank here because we upload the ABR, ABA as a single file multiple payment you're going to see one item come out like this on the 23rd of October for 4926.29 and that will have an instant match similar to this because you've already created the transaction as a batch payment. And that's pretty much it guys. I definitely recommend if you're paying multiple supplies in one go, maybe uh, you know you have a bit of a process where on the same day each week or the same day every fortnight or monthly, whatever, if you're a bigger organization, that you might pay a whole lot of supplies all in one go. That's your payables day. Now, if you're running your business like that, you definitely want to be doing batch payments via or doing batch payments for one because it's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to help you work out which bills you want to pay very quickly by date, by what's overdue and what's not. It's going to, if you've got a certain budget on what you can afford to pay, it's going to be able to enable you to work out very quickly which ones you want to pay rather than going through and adding things up slowly with a calculator. Um, and then, of course, since you're paying a big batch of supplies in one go, you can export the ABA, upload it to your bank, and do it all in one go very quick, quickly, but also by removing a great deal of the risk of uh, human error with putting in wrong bank details and wrong dollar amounts and that sort of thing. So that's it for this video, guys. Just a quick one. A pretty basic concept, but I thought I'd go through and just show you how to do it anyway. If you'd like to book in a training session, feel free to head over to our website. The address is in the description below. But other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.